Rabbi Jachter talked about the soft matzahs, though we responded, there were discussions about it every year, the whole soft matzah issue comes up. And uh, I was thinking, you know, I, I can't believe I didn't think about this beforehand. What did Rabbi Jachter say? He's wondering if he should prohibit it for Ashkenazim. And he says, as Hava Minu was, yeah, you know, you don't do it. There's a, there's a classic opinions. Bird Rav Schechter permit it. What's wrong with soft matzah? It's matzah. Rav Schechter says very clearly, the OU, uh, pre, pre Pesach Q&A. What's wrong with soft matzah? It's matzah. So, and he's also gone public with that. When the guy came up with his soft matzah factory, he got us coming from Rav Schechter. And Rabbi Jachter now argues that, yeah, but still there is reasons because, uh, what was it, Rav Zivotovsky and, and his other, his, uh, I think it's Greenspan, the, the two who always work together, those two rabbi doctors who are knowing everything, and they're the ones who sued uh, Secretary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, about the names on the birth certificates here in Jerusalem. Yeah, I was party to that lawsuit. Everybody who has kids born in Israel, they weren't listing their country of birth as Israel. It was just Jerusalem, okay? And uh, so, of course, I had children born in Jerusalem, and I wanted it to say Israel on their birth certificates. So that's why I was part to that, that lawsuit. And Rev. Zivotovsky has basically concluded that, you know, there's some factories where the matzah, they're actually doing it wrong. They're not baking the matzah properly. They're ruining it because they're using ovens that are too hot. They're cracker-style ovens, which assume that you're putting in the dough for not enough time. So that ruins it. So he says, yes, yeah, so this is a reason to usher it for Ashkenazi. And I'm thinking, if it's a problem with the kashrus that they're churning out unbaked matzahs, so it should be permit. It should be a problem for everybody. And it's not a problem with objectively soft matzahs. It's a problem with this incompetent factory. But more than that, if I want to say something's prohibitive for Ashkenazim, which already is something I don't say, that's not our type of terminology. I would say that the people who live in a certain area, their rabbis made xera for them. So what's a classic example? A xera that was applied to a certain place and was accepted by that kahila. Well. Okay, Rabbeinu Gershom's uh, harems, or the polygamy uh, harem. Everything the Vad of Arba Artsos put, put out. So, harem de Rabbeinu Gershom is a perfect example. Rabbeinu Gershom made a zero. We know who did it. So that's us, sir. So it, it, it lasts, although Rabbeinu Gershom's uh, harem technically expired. But the point is, that's the type of thing. You can't say that I have seen that perhaps Ashkenazim don't eat something, X. Ashkenazim don't do X. And therefore, I'm not going to let them do X. Did Do you have some sort of record of someone going and prohibiting that? Some with authority prohibiting it as the head of the Kehillah and the Kehillah accepting it? Or are you saying, I know that there's a chashash with something, so I'm going to prohibit it to them because up until now, they just happen not to do it. That doesn't make sense. That's not a halachic mechanism. His whole argument is not, is not halachically sound. At least uh, from our point of view, if you had a problem with the matzahs, so whatever. But it, just to think objectively, it doesn't matter what the particular question is. Just saying that, oh, X is, might have a, a hashash, a problematic, so it shouldn't be permissible to this group. At least for that group, you should have some sort of record that it was, you know, there was a there was a takana. To say, like, I, I somehow think it's an extension of something that I can't even show. It's bad enough the kidneyist thing. Who offered kidneys? We don't have a record thereof. Or at least Tav Shilin of Kidneys, just recorded by Chorona Mishon. It seems to be something like that. Was there ever Xero? Normally, when there's Xero, someone, you know who it is. But it makes a lot of sense. I tell people, yeah, kidneys are 100% kosher on Passover. Eat them. Just don't cook them as a Tav Shil if you didn't check them for, for uh, wheat, because then they might be chametz. So eat rice matzahs, rice cakes, popcorn, like the Chayodim says to do. Chayodim did Asr Kidneys either. Is the Chayodim radical? Okay. <laughs>